how do you uh, pass the time during such a long break? Or is something that actually just try to relax? How do you do it? I mean, you, you try to stay relaxed and prepared. You know, you don't want to get too worked up and kind of side yourself out. And you don't want to. You don't want to be so chill that you go out there and you're not ready to play. You know, I was ready when I got back out there. I just, you know, I missed a couple shots that I you know, should have missed. And got broken right off the bat, but you know, I was ready, so I was able to break it right back. What happened? Uh, it seemed like uh, Luis had some choice words or something to say uh, at the end of that. Um, what was said? Or yeah, when I broke him back, um, he said some things to me that uh, you know I wasn't too happy. He said. And, so I said some things back that you probably wouldn't get out of I said. So, I don't know. I mean, there's no reason to really go into real detail about it because whenever you're whenever you're in the heat of the moment, whenever you're competitive, and you know, obviously we're both playing as our profession, we both want to want to win. So you know, I know him. He does a great thing. We've always we've always been fine with each other. We've never been close, but we've always been okay with each other. And, you know, I think he's been around the block enough to know that what happens on the court stays on the court. And, you know, I don't have any resentment for it. it. Seemed like the momentum switched at that point, though, when you, yeah. you guys came back out. Yeah, I mean, I just the way my my mind is wired. You know, I I like you know I like it whenever it gets intense. You know, the, the competitive drive, or, you know, kind of it was something that sparked me. Just you know, not that I needed an extra reason, but it was just an added motivation. Whenever someone makes a threatening comment to you on the match, you know to. The ultimate goal is, you know, no matter what is said during the match, whoever really wins is going to get the last lap in the situation. And, you know, I was going to make him play a heck of a match if he was going to be that guy. And how do you handle your emotions, your emotions, when somebody's doing that? Well, um, you know, I had a due service game on my on my service game the very next game, in which I was up. You never had a break point, but it was a it was a tight game. And the good thing about it was the fact that I was, you know, I was obviously fired up and, and ready to go and ready, ready to play and intense. But whenever things went, you know, whenever I missed a couple shots in that game, I think I had a double fall or a missed short forehand in there. Um, but I just let it go and you know, I kind of let the negative go by. And then whenever I had something positive, I, I used it to kind of fuel me and, and get me going. And that's really what I need to try to do more often, even when you know, there's not an added incentive. Any more questions? Uh, how do you account for your success against uh, players ranked between seven and fifty? Seven and fifty. I um, think you're uh, five and three this year. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that um, you know, I have more belief in myself this year. You know, I, I played a few matches against guys in the top fifty last year. I'm not sure that I won any. Uh, maybe one against Lubitsch, but other than that. I think that the U.S. Open was big for me because I played back-to-back -back matches against guys in the top 30 in the world, and I won one of them and had three match points in the other one. So that was kind of like a light bulb to me, you know, that I don't that I don't need to overplay to, to beat these guys. I can play my game, play within myself, and you know, I trust my my abilities to to get it done. Um, you know, with that being said, I, I've also had some matches against guys in the top seven, against uh, Soderling and Ferrer, and. Even the match against Federer and any well I had some chances in. You know, it's just a, you know, it's a matter of, of staying within myself and making sure that I just I trust my game and, and not really try to overplay. What does winning tonight have? You know, how does it affect your confidence going into tomorrow's match? Uh, you know, obviously with being such a quick turnaround, you haven't played tomorrow. I think I play late tomorrow, so I'll have a, a little bit of time to recover and, and do some treatment. But. Um, I'm just going to try to enjoy the moment right now, but, but not be content with it. Just, uh, you know, I want to use it to, to fuel me and to kind of keep keep building my confidence and hopefully, hopefully go deeper here. Any more questions? Nope. Thank you.